This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here chatting with Pascal Musawaba of Ashab Online, an online store for natural products from the Middle East. Pascal, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Excellent. Um, so how did you get inspired to start Ashab? It's a, it's a very unique product for, for an e-commerce site. Uh, how did you come up with the idea? Okay, so basically uh, I launched Ashab Online together with my business partner and brother uh, uh, at the end of uh, February of this year. Uh, Ashab uh, is a store that is already established in Lebanon. It has been there for 15 years and it belongs to my parents. But uh, w what, what we decided to do is to create a separate identity uh, uh, a separate identity for the store and uh, to create uh, a different thing to use our expertise actually my brother and I that we have developed through uh, through our careers uh, and to uh, basically add those together and create this e-commerce uh, store online. So you began with an offline store that was there for 15 years and yes. then you launched an e-commerce site um, it's a big transition. How do you then entice those people to come online? Are you simply reaching a completely different demographic throughout the region? We're we're actually we we are we when we did our study basically at first we had in our minds a certain kinds of people. But right now we're discovering as we go uh, with the website as we go we're discovering that our target is is changing drastically. I mean it's and and certain products are are. Certain products are all the rage. People want them, such as uh, Arabic uh, Oriental incense, for instance, uh, for instance, or uh, certain herbs that cannot be found anywhere in the world except at the in the Levant area. People in Europe are very interested in these items a lot, or people who are uh, Arabs uh, from Arab descent who are interested in buying products that uh, that are not accessible in their uh, in their local markets. So it's it's kind of uh, now we've really narrowed down the even the products. So most of the products that you see on the website, uh, some of them are not. The demand is higher for just for just one or two line, by the way. So uh, two lines, in the in this in the segment. Very interesting. So you have a few very popular products that are selling yes. to a global audience. Yes. How do you handle the logistics on that? You're shipping herbs, dried fruit, nuts, mm -hmm. seeds. Um, what is your logistics solution and how quickly can you get those to a customer in Europe okay. or the US or Saudi or Dubai? Okay. Usually uh, it takes uh, up to three to five days to, for the product to reach its destination. Uh, we ship door to door. Um, and also, also, I have to mention that with the changes with the, with the target, because we've we've seen we've seen that uh, the target has changed. It's, it's not according to the book or what we've written in the strategy. Uh, that it, it's really narrowed down right now. People are a lot asking to buy in bulk. By the way, it t takes around three uh, to five days. We use DHL because right now it's the most appropriate uh, door to door. Uh, 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 way of doing it. Um, we do get, of course, uh, there are a lot of legal impediments because each and every country has its uh, has its own regulations. So we have to deal with those. I mean, we are also learning through uh, through the process which countries are easier to get. So we kind of uh, uh, channel our advertising way that targets uh, certain countries and not others. Because some countries are problematic about certain uh, certain uh, products. And what payment gateways do you use, and why? Okay, uh, right now we're using NetCommerce. We thought that we're not dealing with the bank, so there is no timing for customer service in this sense. So it, it was much easier. I mean, uh, because it was a company that dealt with the banks, and it wasn't uh, a department in a bank. Uh, that was mainly the main reason. So as you move forward with Ashab, um, you're mentioning that you know all of your customers like essentially two two lines of products or only a few products. Will yes. you narrow down the number of products that you're offering? What is your strategy moving forward for growth? Yes, exactly. For growth, we're thinking of yes narrowing our narrowing this uh, down. Uh, 
narrowing our line down and basically uh, also focusing on merchants that are outside of the Middle East or inside the Middle East. But people in Europe who are interested in, uh, especially pharmaceuticals, by the way, because there really there is this uh, this interest in uh, everything natural. Uh, so th these are the companies that ask to buy from you in in bulk. I mean, so we're we're yes we're uh, narrowing down even our focus. So in the future, it may be more focused on bulk than door to door. Uh, this is this is uh, a given. I see, and more focused on business to business as opposed to yes, on. yes. I see. And what has your biggest hurdle or challenge been thus far that you've overcome? Contracts between banks. So not all banks accept uh, payments, even if they are international Mastercard and Visa. Not all banks uh, accept these payments. So that's also another hurdle, another problem. If you had one piece of advice to give an e-commerce entrepreneur looking to sell something similar in the natural product or food range, yes. what would you advise yes. them? Okay. Uh, basically, um, I tell every entrepreneur he wants to work in e-commerce. And especially if the topic is... is uh, because e-commerce can be can be unstable, uh, especially when it comes in the, to, to the Middle East, if they're targeting the Middle East or whatever. I, I would tell them to not uh, start with a huge budget or take huge loans. This is this is I think this is important. Let them start with the. It depends, of course, on what they're doing and if it's uh, if it it can be done. Of course, I tell them to start easy, start small, and and think big and start very small, step by step. This is, uh, in general, in terms of, uh, of e-commerce. Um, next is to research the market very, very well and aggregate their information way beforehand. So uh, people, because people are eager to start, and uh, yes, you can, you can start and it, it can go well. You can, by the way, uh, work on your SEO and you can get a lot of, of, of customers through SEO even without advertising. But to in, or, in order to perfect everything, just uh, do your research beforehand, aggregate all the information that you need, uh, and um, uh, understand the legalities of, of each country. Uh, follow up on that, and, and you'll be just fine. Great, Pascal. Thank you so much for chatting with WAMDA. Thank you so much. Thank you.